Not much of a turnout, is it? <laughs> no. I could understand it if the weather was bad, but a nice day like this, this place ought to be full. <laughs> well, Aunt Alice was an old lady. Most of her friends have probably passed away. Well, I hope so for her sake. <laughs> Where is he? Who? The minister. It's five after one. When are you gonna get things started? Aunt Alice is waiting. <laughs> Keep your voice down. George, I just had a wonderful idea. What is it? You remember that cute little restaurant you once took me to? The Copper Kettle? Yeah. Well, it's just two blocks away. Now, Mama. I was thinking, after the funeral, we'll still have time for our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, maybe we better not have lunch together. But it's one of my favorite places, and they have the nicest little pastry car. I don't feel like having lunch with you today. Well. <laughs> All the thanks I get after all I've done for you. I guess that's what, what mothers are for. Give, give, give. Never ask for anything in return. <laughs> now even a little lunch is too much to expect. Mark my words, George, you're going to remember this when I'm dead and gone. <laughs> then it'll be too late. Blackmail? Lord knows I don't. Come with me, Mom. What, I said, come with me. George, what's the meaning of this? George, why are you embarrassing me? Look, Mom, just be quiet and listen. George! Now, then, look, don't be George to me. Now, just listen. I ain't taking you to lunch once a month anymore. George! There you go, George. <laughs> I ain't saying I will never take you to lunch, but if I feel like it, I will. Or if you feel like it, you call me, and if I can't make it, I'll tell you. But from now on, there ain't gonna be no rule no more. George, if your father were living to He'd hear say it. I was right and you know it. <laughs> you wouldn't talk to me like that if you loved me. Of course I love you. I wouldn't be yelling if I didn't love you. Dear, dear. That's no way to talk to an old lady. Who are you calling me? <laughs> <laughs> 